Hey guys, this is Mary Dade from Kingdom Blueprint. I'm coming on uh, tonight with some jammies, second trimester jammies. It's the comfy way to live right now when I'm in second trimester of my pregnancy. Um, but I'm excited to share this word with you. You know, God gave me this word a couple months ago, but he just wouldn't let me release it. And he told me now is the time to release it. So I'm super excited. Um, several of you ladies actually have heard this word that have been in my challenges in groups because I've shared it in my um, in women's prayer night at, um, on Mondays. I've shared it with different places, but not on YouTube. So I'm super excited to be able to share this tonight. Um, the Lord put on my heart, you know, he has been warning the other woman, the other man, the other person, the soul wound connection, right? the ow, owie, soul wound connection, right? He has been warning that person for a while. He has been warning them that they are on the wrong land, that they are with the wrong person, that that is not their husband, that is not their wife, that is not their spouse. God has been warning them for a while and they are not listening to his warnings. And so this next season, the Lord showed me that he is actually going to be turning this other woman, the other man inside out. So everything on the inside that's been hiding is being flipped onto the outside. So your spouses are going to be breaking out of those trances. Your spouse is going to be breaking out of that um, blindfold of not knowing who they really are inside. And it's exciting because God's already starting to confirm this word he shared with me a couple months ago of it being now that this is happening. Um, you know, the with what's going on with the holidays, whatever the situation is, with your spouse, your spouse is going to start missing you. They're going to be missing you around the holidays. They're going to be missing you. God's going to be putting a desire in their heart, um, dreams of you, thoughts of you, and they're not going to know what to do with them. And it's exciting because God is preparing them to come home. And in that, God has given the other woman, the other man, several warnings, and they have not listened to the red flags. They have not listened to what God has said. And so now they are turning inside out. Um, I've seen different of some of them gaining more weight, some of them changing their facial figures, but they're becoming mean. They're becoming nasty. Everything on the inside they were hiding to keep your um, spouse trapped in their grasp is being exposed this season. And so it's exciting, but how do we prepare for that? We keep declaring and decreeing. We keep walking with restoration. We keep trusting God in what we're in, what he's doing. And we be excited for what's coming because God is doing something amazing this season. Um, but I would also encourage you guys to do, we are a couple days away from December. I would encourage you this next month, ask the Lord for a word for the month and ask the Lord for a word for 2022. In fact, he told me he wants me to share the word he gave me. Okay, Holy Spirit. Sorry, give me a second. Let me grab it. Um, he showed me that the word for this month is activation into acceleration. And he showed me the word for 2022. I know a lot of you have heard pit to palace. That's been coming on a lot, right? People are talking about God taking you from the pit to the palace. Well, that's the word he gave me as well. He said, 2022, pit to palace. Everything the locust ate, every vision the enemy stole, every dream the enemy took, I'm giving it all back. This is the year of double portion and recompensation, reconciliation and redemption. You will dance on the waters of promotion and walk on the rainbows of my promises. Keep declaring what I promise and act in obedience to activate each step. Stay focused on what I say and not on what you see. Every step of faith will open another door of opportunity, promotion, and provision. Rest in being my daughter, my son, my friend. Keep walking in humility and I will keep increasing your ability. So that's an exciting word that God is showing for 2022. And how do we prepare for that? We receive it right? We receive that word. We receive breakthrough. We receive restoration. We have to understand, guys, the enemy is going to try to come at you. What you see carnally isn't going to stand for what God is promising you because we're walking by faith, not by sight. When we walk by faith, we believe it before we receive it. And then once we receive it, we see it. 
So we have to stand on that. We have to understand walking by faith, we're not going to see it at first. But what's exciting is you're going to start seeing a lot of that shifting. Um, I'm so excited to see all the restoration testimonies coming in. And God is preparing. This will probably be the, first, the last video I do by myself on here for a while because God has me and my husband doing videos together soon to prepare to launch the 90-day um, walking in restoration with couples uh, challenge in January. And so we're super excited. God already gave us a specific, a specific number of couples that he wants to join the challenge. And so if God is putting on your heart to reach out to us, is um, putting on your heart, being led to um, join that challenge, let us know. It is really cool how God has given us divine strategy for walking in restoration because um, kind of the slogan God gave us is, we're restored, now what? Because once you're restored, there's a whole, <laughs> there's a whole season and different seasons you go through and different strategies and coming back together with restoration, uprooting the old, um, preparing the new, claiming your land. There are so many different um, steps and strategies. And so we're super excited that we get to um, be the hollow vessels for God to use to share that and to be able to bring you guys that freedom and that revelation and that excitement as you're walking in restoration. And I also want to encourage you guys, um, for those of you that are really struggling and, um, you know, when I was in my prayer night with my ladies, you know, God really put on my heart to share this as well as on YouTube, you know, I get when you're going through a battle and things are being taken from you, you think it's because God is punishing you. But you have to remember, guys, for a season you prayed and you asked God to remove anything in your life that wasn't from Him. Anything in your life that was keeping you from growing with God. And part of that was the marriage you had. Because God was not first in that marriage. Yes, that was your covenant spouse. So of course God is going to give that back, but he wasn't first in your marriage. He wasn't first in your life. He wasn't first in your spouse's life. So how can he bless and protect and cover what he's not a part of? And so a lot of you have to understand God is, is giving you, he's answering your prayers, right? A lot of you have to understand when you're having these things being pulled away from you, God is removing idols. God is removing altars. God is removing things that came before him so he can be centered and be first in your life and in your marriage so he can bless and he can give you everything he has for you. And so be encouraged by that because I know a lot of you, when you're in your season of restoration, because God kept reminding me that was the one thing I prayed. When me and my husband in our worldly marriage, we started fighting so bad. And I started seeing that things were not going better. I was reaching out for help. I was reaching out for um, prayers. I was reaching out for just, I wanted to fix it. The one prayer I asked God for, which was total surrender, was God, remove anything in my life that is not of you. Remove it. Take it. I don't want it. I just want what you want for my life. And when I prayed that prayer, he did that. He removed the job that I was in. He removed all the counterfeit identities I was a part of financially, um, through jobs, through um, careers. He removed my marriage, right? My husband was an idol at one point. My marriage was an idol at one point. Being with a man was an idol at one point. For men, being with a woman could be an idol at one point. Whatever became an idol in your life came before God. So of course, God is going to remove these things and these counterfeit identities that are causing you to not walk in your true identity as a son or daughter of the king, right? So God has been answering your prayers this entire time. But we have to shift our perspective. See, what the enemy wants is for you to see it as God is punishing you. God is taking things away from you. God's not going to keep his promise to you. God lied to you. Those are all lies from the enemy. If we shift our perspective and really see that, oh my gosh, Lord, thank you. Like you actually are answering my prayer, but God is so intricate. We have to understand we didn't realize how demonically rooted and grounded our marriages were in the world and not in God. And so in order to uproot all that, right, if God just ripped all the blindfolds off us, ripped all the blindfolds off our husbands, ripped everything out, we would mentally be destroyed. We wouldn't be able to handle that. And so to encourage you, God is so loving that this entire time he's been answering your prayers. 
He's been answering your prayers this entire time, but it didn't look like what we thought it did. So we came into agreement with the false expectation of what that meant. That that meant all of a sudden our husband's going to come home or our wife's going to come home and they're going to love us again and they're going to be happy and it doesn't work like that. God is very intricate. There were a lot of things that we were demonically, spiritually rooted in that were keeping us from God being centered in our life. And like, those are the commandments, right? All relationships are based off the 10 commandments like my husband shares. And it's true because if God is not first in your life, there's not much he can do. He wants to become first. So when we ask God to become first and we ask God to remove anything that keeps him from being first, he'll do it. But in that, we can't have an expectation of what that's supposed to look like. So I just ask you guys to repent. If this is really convicting any of you, repent and ask God to forgive you for any false expectation of what restoration was supposed to look like in your life and in your marriage. Because the first part of restoration is restoring your identity in Christ. Once God restored my identity in him, of course, everything that's from him, he's going to restore back to me, which is my marriage, my relationship with my children, my relationship with my parents, my relationship with my family. Everything will come back when alignment is right. And so we really have to just, you know, thank God and be humble in realizing that God's just been answering our prayer this entire time. But when you have a false expectation of what that looks like, it sets us up to be disappointed. And that's the enemy's goal. And so we just got to, we got to remove that, right? We've got to just thank God that he loves us so much that he's been answering our prayers. And so I hope this encourages you guys, but I'm super excited for this season because I mean, oh my gosh, I've seen so many um, stories already of marriages being restored and husbands coming home, wives coming home, but be encouraged because the other woman and the other man, whatever, the o, the OW, the other situation, it is shifting this season. Like she, he has been warned and God is flipping it. And so I am super excited because we are getting restoration. We are walking in 2022 in restoration with our spouses, but with God first. And so that's exciting because when our husbands walk away from God, when we walk away from God, we become prodigals. You know, a lot of, a lot of another thing, who Lord, pregnancy brain, forgive me. Um, another thing that he just put on my heart to share with you is what we don't realize is a lot of standards are waiting and waiting and waiting because over a season of time, we became prodigals ourselves. And we have to really think about that, right? If we've been standing for our marriage or God has been telling you to stand for your marriage, but you have unforgiveness or bitterness or resentment towards your spouse or towards yourself, you're not walking in your true identity in Christ. So you've actually become a prodigal yourself. And so that's something that God kind of put on my heart um, to start sharing with people because I was a prodigal for a season. My husband was a prodigal for a season, but all of us at one point had become prodigals. And so when we come back to our relationship with God and God being first and listening to what God says and hearing his voice and following and walking in the spirit, in the Holy Spirit, we no longer have prodigal mentalities, right? But we can't fully walk with, a, with our God-given authority in our kingdom identity if we have any unforgiveness towards anybody, including ourselves in our life. We can't. Spiritual law. So that's where God has to take us through this season of, oh my gosh, Lord, I repent. Like I do have bitterness towards this person, or I do have resentment towards my spouse, or I do have resentment towards you, or I do have anger. We have to really check our hearts because God sees what we don't. So we really have to check our hearts and be like, you know what? I am angry at my husband. I am angry at my wife. You know, I, I am angry at God. Oh my gosh. I kind of have become a prodigal myself. Because when we are walking and creating and are being motivated by an environment of fear and not faith, we're not walking as a daughter or son of the king. We're walking with a prodigal mindset and a mentality. And so I hope this blesses you, but I would ask the Lord tonight, Lord, am I a prodigal? Lord, have I become a prodigal in standing? Has my heart grown hard in this situation? Because God is really adamant, especially this month. He wants to heal that residue. He wants to remove all the residue of the old wineskin because he's preparing you for restoration. It's exciting what's coming in 2022. But with that, he's got to get our hearts right. 
And so to encourage you guys, just give God permission to heal all the residue in your heart. Give God permission to heal your wounds, to heal the trauma, to heal the anger, the unforgiveness, because that's where it starts. If we don't truly walk in our identities in Christ, knowing we're forgiven, knowing we're accepted, knowing we're loved, we're not walking in our true identity, right? And so we don't have the full authority of walking in our true identity in Christ if we've picked up lies that have caused us to stay deceived. And so I hope this encourages you guys because God is removing blindfolds even from ourselves, right? We all have blindfolds that God is slowly removing. We don't just arrive. We move from glory to glory. And so in this, the revelation of being able to be excited about promotion, being excited about um, growing in your relationship with God this season and be excited for what he's doing because God is not going to disappoint you. He has not ever disappointed you. He loves you. But when you think that God has disappointed you, it's because there's a false expectation of what you think he's supposed to do or how the timing or what it's supposed to look like you've picked up. And so repent for that because that's where unbelief, that's where doubt, that's where worry comes in. And if we're walking in that, we're giving the enemy legal ground to torment us. And so to be able to break that legal ground the enemy has, we have to really repent and ask God to forgive us and choose to receive what the blood of Jesus has done. Receive what his salvation, receive what it's, what it, what the gift, the gift of his mercy and grace brings us. We have to truly walk knowing that we're forgiven. And so it's exciting because there's so much revelation in this that God has shown me. And so I really hope this encourages you guys, but just take time with the Lord. Ask him for a word for December. Ask him for a word for 2022 for you and stand in what he is promising you. Declare, decree, and proclaim. I know I've shared this with you guys before, but if God is saying restoration is here, if God is saying your spouse is coming home, proclaim it's done. Proclaim it, celebrate it, because when you celebrate, you activate it. And so it's super exciting because I mean, just, I know you guys are feeling it. There is something, there is a shift going on. There is a greater expectation being released of God's, just God's promises manifesting. And it's exciting. So we have to stay focused on that and stay um, expecting greater, right? Expecting greater revelation, greater faith, greater trust, um, greater promises of God. And so with that is intimacy with the Lord. And so I love you guys. I hope this encourages you guys. I hope this blesses you guys. And I'm super excited to see y'all walking in restoration. I'm super excited to see what God is doing. Um, my husband and I will be coming on probably next week together and doing, um, doing YouTube videos together to prepare for couples who are walking in restoration. Husband just came home. Wife just came home. Thought it was going to be great, and it looks like we're having another false start. Wrong. Not a false start. It's just we have a false expectation of what restoration is supposed to look like. And so we're encouraged to be able to share that with you guys. We're excited to be here, and we hope you guys have a great day. Bye.